I do want to mention something. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about this a lot more in the uh, in in tomorrow's live stream. Uh, there's a lot of censorship going on right now. And I know we all thought it was very funny that when when Trump lost his Twitter and and Facebook and um, everybody's like ha 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 yay you know it, and there was a part of me that also celebrated that mostly because I was getting exhausted of you know squishy liberals getting their news from Trump tweets and then creating panic out of the fact that he said something outrageous and ridiculous on Twitter which he's been doing since the dawn of fucking Twitter. But now, uh, you know, it's lefty shows, pro-worker shows, anti-capitalist shows. I've mentioned this several times before, but my channel on YouTube and Facebook has been throttled. I mentioned this at the, at the very top of, of the podcast here is it's been throttled. Uh, I was uh, when I first started doing regular content, I was getting subscribers. I was getting views. Um, and then they throttled it. And then I tried to figure out a different way. And then subscriber counts were going up. And now it's like I've 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 kind of plateaued at 460, which is less than half of what I need to c get even close to monetizing my channel. And I'm putting up content every day. Every day I'm putting up content. You know, I'm putting up anywhere from uh, four to like 20 videos in a week. If I'm crazy, it's it's that high. Um, but you know, Graham Elwood demonetized. Uh, Convo Couch with Fiorella and, and Pasta demonetized. Ron Placone has been demonetized. Lee Camp has uh, has been demonetized and plateaued. And now I just saw Nico House has been demonetized as well. What's next? This is, this is, I mean, this came less than a month. It's been less than a month since the January 6th Insurrection Act uh, attack on the Capitol, which led to all of the digital censorship. Less than a month. And uh, all of us kept saying, hey, I know you squishy liberals are excited that conservatives are getting deplatformed, but this is very dangerous to the First Amendment. You are letting digital tech companies... Uh, Pick and choose who gets to be on their platforms. Pick and choose who gets to have their voices heard. And that is a dangerous road to go down. And here we are. Now would be the time uh, for us, for people that give a shit about digital rights, about the First Amendment, to support Platforms like Rockfin, like Minds.com, like Panquake. Because those platforms are not going to censor you and they're going to encourage things like critical thought. The danger I think a lot of people ha uh, feel exists with, with the diversity of thought, of, of thoughts that they disagree with, is that people are not going to be able to discern th these ideologies for themselves. And... and to some degree, they are probably right. To some degree. But they're not absolutely right. The reality is, if, if we are taught and encouraged to think critically, the reality is if we are taught to look at the media, to look at corporate media, and learn how to criticize it, and learn where their money comes from, and learn, learn how they are biased in their, in, in their quote-unquote journalism, then this notion wouldn't really exist. That some far-fetched ideologies, some right-wing ideologies that preach violence and the extermination of other, other people, of, of, of other minority groups... You can have those voices, and most people are going to look at that and go, wow, that's awful. I wonder what makes somebody get to this point. That level of critical thinking is only encouraged in a world that has free speech and digital rights coinciding with each other. And again, the limit is drawn when somebody incites violence. Which means that anybody that is pro-war should be deplatformed. 
Anybody that's unwilling to give people health care should be deplatformed. Anybody that's supporting things like opening schools should be deplatformed. These are all things that lead to some form of violence, some form of life being taken away. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Insta, whatever, all of these tech, big tech companies are now dictating who gets to have their voices heard on their platform, and that is fucking dangerous. Regardless of what you think of Graham L. Wood's content, who I'm, I'm a fan of, who has been on this podcast before, or Lee Camp, or Convo Couch, or whatever. Oh, they're yelling. Oh, they're angry. Oh, they're this. Doesn't matter. Even if you disagree with, with I, I don't agree with conservatives on on these platforms. But when they get deplatformed, I notice and I, and I call out that it's dangerous. And this shouldn't be the way that it is. That we should learn how to think critically. And we won't have this problem. Because we live in a society where critical thinking isn't encouraged and there's a vast amount of anti-intellectualism, and these big tech companies and big corporations need to control the way people think. I mean, this is thought police shit. People are more compliant with having uh, pages they dislike or disagree with be deplatformed. I would encourage folks to go to platforms like Rockfin and Panquake, Minds.com. Um, and start supporting the content creators you enjoy there uh, because it will be very soon that they will just start taking channels down. In less than a month, they demonetized a bunch of lefty channels, giving them virtually no reason for it. And that is dangerous. So go find them on these alternative platforms. Start looking into them. Start supporting these alternative platforms that are not that are not for censorship, that are not for deplatforming people because they exhibit they, uh, uh, talk about ideas that are not friendly to the establishment and friendly to the mainstream. And start stop supporting organizations that are going to censor people just because they don't like their ideologies. Uh, a great another great way to to help this show if you are on stable financial ground is to make a one time contribution or become a sustaining member over at krishmohanhaha.com. It's k r i s h m o h a n h a h a dot com. Uh, if you become a sustaining member, you get free tickets to live virtual stand-up comedy shows. And when touring comes back, you'll get tickets to my live shows when I come through your city. Uh, you also get bonus stand-up comedy content and early access to longer in-depth episodes of Forkful of Noodles before they're released out to the the general public, so, so it would seem. Um, while you're on my website, you can also download my stand-up comedy albums. I have a variety of different stand-up comedy albums, the most recent of which is called Politely Angry, uh, where I talk about capitalism and religion and corporatism, the prison industrial complex, and of course, I also take, make fun of and shit on Jeff Bezos, because why not? I think that dude needs to be taken down a couple pegs. So if you enjoy that kind of comedy, then you will probably enjoy my stand-up comedy albums as well. Uh, once again, the website is krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot com. Thank you so much.